Sorry if it's a little loud, I got the heater going, but today we're gonna be working on this 1986 square body. Um, it's the shop's truck, so there's more than one owner to say the least. Um, but we actually got a broken frame on it. I was plowing with it when we had those storms the other day and I busted the frame, I'll show you here. It might be a little loud, so. Yeah, it, uh, it busted um, about, well, last year actually. Um, Dad had tried welding it with our, with our ancient antique stick welder, Miller stick welder from the 50s. Um, and he basically just had to booger it up because that thing doesn't weld very well. But now we have a MIG welder this year, so I'm gonna grind the old welds off, clean up the metal, do the best I can to weld it. I might cut this pipe here and put it in between those two uprights in the back. There's two square tubings that run up and down. I might put it in between there to give it some strength because as you can see here that that square tube went went in pretty good and uh, the other one is pretty cracked down there so I want to run it back and forth but for now I want to clean it up and get it all cleaned up the best I can so I can re-weld this front piece here once I get that front piece welded which I'm gonna use the forklift to push the blade forward and weld that front piece up once I weld that up, I'm gonna take the plow off and then crawl underneath there and I'll get that back bar and shit all welded up. So enough with the talking, I'm gonna to get to work. Um, you might see this one on the channel a couple times, but you're gonna see it this time. I figure I need to get you guys some content, so it's a good way to do it. All right, so I got it all welded up the best I could. I was welding some crappy metal, so they're kind of buggered up, but 
I got it welded up there. I got it welded down there. I took and welded this whole thing. I welded and re-welded that. I grooved and re-welded that. Welded that down there. That I didn't touch at all. But that I fixed, so. It should be plenty to make it hold, especially with that upper one being re-welded completely. But um, I also fixed one of the poles or guide poles on it. So um, for now though, this thing I think is gonna be done. I'm not gonna put that pole across because it's kind of pointless. That's a waste of a nice piece of pipe. So I'll save that for something else. But now I gotta get some stuff moved around so I can get uh, that truck up in here because I gotta get a semi in here this weekend. We got some snow coming, so. As far as the K20 plow truck goes, the plow is all welded up to the best of my ability. I ain't no super welder, but I'm a s pretty decent welder. I'll just put it at that. Well, I got everything moved around. I got some stuff I gotta clean up over there. I'm not really too worried about that. We'll be able to get one semi in here and one semi over there. The plow truck goes in a different spot. Show you guys if I'm a decent welder or not. And if it breaks, well, it breaks. You can see it's still a little crooked down there, but hey, not that big of a deal. It's just a shop truck. Doesn't need to do anything but plow. As long as it plows and it moves snow like we need it to, we're in good shape, but. Let me get this thing outside and get it warmed up. While that's warming up, I'm going to pick a few other things up and then we're going to test this bad boy and see how it works. Might be a little dark, but.
but she's been warming up here now, so on high idle. Boys, it's gonna be nice and toasty in here. <laughs> Come on, girl. There you go. So I kind of backbladed this now. I know backblading really doesn't determine anything, but we uh, we like to pack the yard down a little bit because when we, when we drive the semis in here, but. I see there's a little ridge here I can plow. I just gotta get turned around, so kinda bear with me here. We'll get this bad bad boy turned around. There are my plow lights. Which way do I wanna make the plow go? We'll just do an old fashioned straight plow. sure I don't hit the towel. That would be something. Hit the towel. All right, I got the blade down. See, we got a windrow here. I can probably clean up too while I'm here. So good so far. I mean, let me shove this into the snowbank, and after that, I'll show you guys some shorter clips of me plowing. But let me get this shoved in the snowbank to see how how she holds up for you guys. Nice rock clip. Oh, this thing is rough. There we go. Put her in the snow pretty hard there. I know it wasn't that hard of a hit, and I'm not really plowing like I normally would, but I'm gonna take a look at it. Ah, she'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be just fine. Not bad. I hit that one pretty hard. Yeah, that one's not cracked. That one ain't either, so hey, did pretty good. Well, that might be kind of a long video. I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but other than that, that's a wrap, guys, for today. Um, successful welding on the plow truck frame, pretty happy with that. Uh, so I know it's been a while since I had a video, but like I said, we got a lot of snow. This snowbank is like two times higher than I am. I mean, look at the, how you compare to the truck, so. Um, a lot of snow um sick family members so i kind of haven't been posting a lot but um i'm hoping very soon i'll have the transmission for the brown truck and very soon like this weekend i want to put that run stand motor in the orange truck so the orange truck can get up and going um put that other one off to the side for now because i got other things going on so i can get that orange truck out and then once i get that orange truck out and a brown truck out We'll be starting to work on that LS cam swap. It's gonna be pretty cool. Turbo 400 with a big stall and a big lumpy cam. Be pretty neat. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
please like subscribe tell me if you want to see plowing videos i'll put my gopro in some cool spots you can hear the exhaust and see the wheel spin and all that stuff but tell me what you think about uh plow snow plow videos and tell me what you think about how i've been doing so far and thanks for watching see you in the next one